Welcome back to PT. It is cold outside and it's only getting colder. So we brought in Buffy Cowtan joining us from Wilderness Supply, talking about uh, staying warm uh, in during the winter. We're going to talk kind of fashions later on. We want to talk about what's inside, including what's going on the first layer of your skin. Why is the inside stuff so important? Well, when we were here a couple weeks ago, we talked about how layering is really important in the fall to keep you warm and comfortable. Yeah. Still true in the winter. Same deal. So when you're going to go get outside, you still want to think first about that moisture wicking base layer. We've got an example here. here. Yep. It's right next to your skin and pulls the moisture away. You still want that mid layer as well, a sweater or a fleece like that that's going to go outside of the base layer and keep you warm. So this goes right up against my skin. And then, uh, and then if I may, this blue one here, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. That's going to go in. So again, we're, we're, we're trying to keep make sure we're, we're keeping the moisture away and then getting ourselves warm. But then on the outside, instead of just a shell in the fall, you're going to want to put a proper winter jacket, and it's probably going to be insulated, which is where you start getting a little technical and looking right. at what we're doing. Well, let's get technical. Let's okay. get technical. Like, this one is the traditional poofy jacket filled with a down, which is a special kind of feather. Yeah, it's actually the underpinning of feathers from ducks and geese. Uh, if it's filled with feathers, that's a lower quality down. But this is the most important decision we're going to make when we're picking insulation is do we want down okay. or do we want something that's synthetic? Okay, let's talk about the good of down first. Down is a really great insulator. Ounce for ounce, it's still the warmest insulation around and it's natural, which is great. Yeah. Uh, it's really breathable. Uh, so it means if you're going to be going through a bunch of different temperatures, let's say you're in your warm car and then you get outside and then you go into a warm store and you come back outside again, it's going to breathe really well with those temperature changes okay. and still keep you comfortable. And it's also really light and really compressible. This whole jacket packs down into yeah, yeah. almost nothing, which is a great choice if you need to pack your jacket up, take it with you where you're going. Yeah, you're bad looking too. <laughs> and it looks great. So down is a really, really good option if you're looking for an insulator. Okay, so good option there, but there's got to be a downside, right? The only downside is that if down gets wet, it stops insulating. So if you know that you're going to be in damper conditions, or perhaps you've got kids that really like to play in the slush, get really, really wet. You can't stay out of the snow no matter how many times you tell them. It's like a magnet. It's just how it goes. Part of being a kid, okay? Then you might want to choose a synthetic insulation instead. Synthetic is not a natural fiber. It's made this out of synthetic here? nylon. Yeah, okay. this is an example of a synthetic insulation here. Uh, it comes in at a slightly lower price point, which is nice for some people. And synthetic will keep you warm even if it gets wet. So it's a really good choice if you are in a bit more damp conditions. Or especially with the kids, like you're saying, if they're always going to be getting wet, which they always are, and they're going to grow it in a heartbeat, which they always are, <laughs> then I can save a little bit of money. It's a good choice in, under those circumstances. How big a discrepancy, though, between super warm down and the synthetic? The temperature discrepancy isn't that big. Where you will get discrepancy is in longevity. Down's going to last you years and years and years. So if you know your size, you're not kids, you're not going to grow immediately. It's such a good investment because you're going to have the same jacket five or ten years okay. and it doesn't lose its loft. That's what you want in insulation is that, that proof, the air that you hold is what actually keeps you warm. Okay. And down won't lose that the way that synthetic will. Okay. But because I can't get it wet, I can't, also can't wash this, right? I can't chuck it in the dryer when it's got salt on it. You can wash it. You just need to use a special detergent uh, and a special drying property. We've got those at Wilderness Supply. If you have a down jacket, you need to wash. Another pro of synthetic is that most synthetics can go straight in the washer, straight in the dryer. Again, good for kids. Okay, quickly, before I let you go, I want to talk about the outside of this one because the shell's important as well. Once you pick your insulation, yep. consider the fabric on the outside. If you want to go for something that's a little thicker, a little bit windproof, in Winnipeg, the wind chill kills us, right? Drops 10 or 20 extra degrees. Yep. If you can cut that wind, you're going way further to letting your insulation work to keep you warm. So now that we've got the benefits down of what's going on under your coat, inside your coat, on the outside of your coat, do a bit of a fashion show so you can still look good and still stay warm throughout the winter. And take a break. There's plenty to come. Good morning. Welcome back to BD. Uh, earlier on the show, we were talking a little bit with Buffy Cowtown joining us uh, from Building the Supply about what goes on inside your coat to make sure you've got the right options for you and what you're going to do this winter and stay warm. But you also want to look good. you got to look good. So we got a cool little fashion show to put together. Yeah, it's a great thing about parkas now is that they've gone really fashion forward. So you can have great insulation and still look really nice. Simple as that. So we're going to talk about the insulation and how good everybody looks with Garrett first off. Come on in, Garrett, if you don't mind. So Garrett's wearing a Winaka jacket okay. from Patagonia. Uh, it's a down insulated jacket. We talked about down. It's a great insulator. Yep. But it's also got that really great waterproof and windproof exterior on it to keep you warm. I love this jacket because it's Army inspired. It's, inspired. it's got a great collar on it. 
kind of doubles as a scarf. You can zip it right up and keep the bottom of your chin warm. When you need it, yeah. And it's got a great insulated hood as well to keep you warm. There you go. We're going to keep your toes warm. Thank you very much, Garrett. Much appreciated. All right, next up, Sierra. Sierra's got, again, the ladies have much more challenge because they got to look nice, but they also got to stay warm. And we've got really, really nice parkas here that are actually form-fitting. This is a great example, the Brooklyn jacket here. It's got that nice belt on it, so it keeps you nice and warm, but also looking a little bit trim, which is hard to do. You don't want to look like the Michelin Man sometimes, right? Never. And I like this one. It's a car coat length, so it's a little bit longer. Uh, it helps protect the back of your uh, the back there, yeah, your backside sure. there, make sure it stays warm, uh, but doesn't so long that it gets in your way if you're in and out of the car and things like that. Sierra, a professional model uh, and actual dancer. Would you mind showing us that dance movie you had earlier that was, oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sierra. This is going to be fun. Let's bring in Garrett again. Garrett, I hope you got a dance move ready for us. What's Garrett wearing? Uh, Garrett's wearing a flathead triclinate. So this is a synthetic example if you know that you are going to be in wet conditions. Yep. It's also a really versatile jacket because it has an inner jacket made of fleece and it has an outer jacket that's insulated with waterproof exterior. So you can wear just the fleece, just the outer jacket, or zip them both together if it's really cold. One of those nice three ones. Yeah, three Very ones. good. All right, Garrett, give me the robot. Where are we going? Hey, wait. Give me a robot. Nice. <laughs> You're right. They are good sports. All right, let's, uh, let's bring in Sierra again. We're again talking about a longer coat. Uh, because the ladies quite often they get in and out of work, they get the skirt on, they get the dress on, they want to be as warm as possible. It's great. You can protect those legs and keep yourself really warm if you've got tights on or anything like that. I love the Hannah jacket that Sierra is wearing here. It's a synthetic option, again, if you're looking for a synthetic. And it's wool on the outside, so it's got a really classic look to it, but it's still treated with water repellent finish. Okay. So it'll keep you dry. And it's got this great collar on it that Sierra is showing here. It goes really nice and high again, double sort of as a scarf, and then when you flip it down, it's got a really nice detailing on it. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Should we make your dance? Yeah, absolutely. Do one more? Come on, one more. Very. Oh, like Back it up over that way. Thank you very much. Garrett, I hope you've been practicing your moves. Come on in, brother. I want to talk a little bit of this one. Again, a classic look for the guy who says, look, I'm going to be warm no matter what. This is for really cold days. It's got really, really high quality down in it. And it's got a long length, which is more unusual for the guys. But right. this one means that, again, your backside's protected. The front of your thighs are protected. You don't get that pocket of cold air when you lean down on your back, which is really nice. This is a Vostok parka from North Face. Uh, it's got a nice hood on it and a nice high collar gear. I'll show you right there. It goes up really nice and high so that it protects the bottom of your face and your mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's got that faux fur on the, col on the hood there. It keeps a nice warm pocket of air right next to your face. You'll be really warm in this one. That's the one where you say, I'm going to get through minus 40 and 40 to make. Give me that Schwarzenegger. Give me that one. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Uh, quickly, last but not least, we got to bring you Sierra in back one last time. We may make her dance, but I wish we got that. What do we got on for Sierra? For the ladies, if you really need to keep warm, this is a great option. The Tremea parka. This is my favorite parka. It's the one I own. I wore here today. Um, it's nice and form-fitting down the sides, but yep. it's nice and long. So, again, you get really warm, really high quality down in it. And, again, you got that full fur on the hood. So you can take it off if you like, but I always keep it on because it keeps it really nice and warm around your face. And you'll be toasty warm all winter with this one. But nice that you can peel it off. You've got that option for you. Very yep. nice. Can you pop and lock? Can we see something like one of those? That was good <laughs> enough. We'll call it the Cleopatra. We'll put all the information on breakfasttelevision.ca, especially if you want to watch that again and see them dance one more time. If you want to get a hold of Women's Supply, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thanks so much. They'll never come back, will they? Absolutely not. <laughs> We're going to take a break. There's plenty still to come on BT.